Corey Talbot from High Tools and I'm going to mix some paint here with a new product uh, called the Stir Whip. Uh, there's a lot of mixers that are out in the marketplace and really it, it is about the mixer when you're mixing paint. You want to be able to get all the way to the bottom. You want to make sure that you're not leaving anything down at that bottom place that it's really mixing it all the way through the entire portion of the paint, whether it's a gallon or a five gallon bucket. You're also going to want to have something that's easy to clean up. This has got uh, very flexible little fingers on the stir whip. It allows you to just put it in a bucket and, and clean those off quickly versus something like this where obviously getting between all those individual pieces is going to be a pain uh, or something like this as well. The other thing is, is you notice that this has got an 18 and a half inch shaft versus these that have got shorter shafts, which the problem with this is you can't do a five gallon bucket. This one barely does it. Um, this one will do both a five gallon and a one gallon bucket. Doesn't, re doesn't really matter which one you have. So the first thing you got to do is obviously take off your cover. I had loosened this up before. And you're just going to want to start the drill off slow so that you're not ending up with paints flying everywhere. So the first thing you do is I really sink it all the way down. You can see it fits perfectly into there. It'll do basically the entire thing. You're just going to push it against the, the sides a bit. When you come up and down, you can see it actually starts to cause a vortex state out in the middle. And you can draw it all the way down, get it into the corners. And yet, I would say you would do this for three to five minutes at the most. And then when you take it out of there, all you're trying to do is uh, don't, don't start the drill up again because all you're going to do is spray paint everywhere. Have a little bucket of water next to you. Put it in the water. And now you're clean. So you're able to take this and go into the next piece that you're walk, working on. All right, now that it's completely cleaned off and you've got all that paint off, I'm going to show you in a five gallon bucket. One of the great things about this tool is that it has those flexible fingers which allows you to get inside of the pour spout instead of having to take the entire cover off. So you could still have this totally attached, didn't take off the zip tie, and be able to go ahead and just put this inside by pulling off the cover, pushing this in, which is obviously something that you can't do with any of these types of tools. All these different types that are out there available, you can't get them in there. The reason you want to do that is a lot of times you're just trying to pour some paint out into whether it's a tray or another bucket where you're going to cut in or something else like that. So you just take this and you work it in. It's in the bucket and then you can go ahead and go all the way around. Again, you just want to make sure that you're not spraying paint everywhere. And you get the paint mix from the top to the bottom. And the way to do that is just up and down, up and down. And when you're done with that, you would pull this out. The best thing about this is you would take a rag, move that out of your way. And I usually pull down the paint as you're bringing it out. And then this is over the spot as you're pulling this out so that you're not going to have paint spray everywhere as the fingers come out. And you just take that and again, put it in your bucket. Give it a rinse off, and you're all done. You're ready to go ahead and start painting. All right, last thing we're going to show you is actually mixing up some drywall mud with the Stir Whip. The reason I love the Stir Whip for this is versus paddle type uh, products, it, it takes a heck of a lot less power than it does if you were using a paddle type. So the Stir Whip, because of the, the thin uh, fingers that it has on it, you're able to actually put it in there, it'll mix the whole thing, and you could do it with just a regular battery operated drill. Always have some water nearby. It's easier to clean up drywall mud before it dries. And what you want to do is you're going to mix your mud, do it until it's a nice creamy pancake batter type of consistency. And then from there, you just take your uh, tool, put it into the water, rinse it off. And we're just going to show you how to do that. So you just start, I just like to start it in the mud about halfway. I'm going to work my way to the top. I get in the top of the consistency you want it to be and then slowly work your way down. If you can hear that drill is not working any harder. And you just want to mix up and down with it. When you're done, just take a rag, 
I like to do is just, as you're pulling it out, give it a little bit of a spray. You don't want to get it outside the bucket. Take that and put it right into your bucket of water. Reverse it. Basically clean completely off.